What's going on guys, Mitch here. Uh, today, as you can see, the bike is in shambles, which is pretty normal for me, but I wanted to go over the fact that, a uh, little fun fact on this Ram Red kit here. Um, so they come with brakes and they highly recommend that if you're going to use the brakes that come with them, that you need to install rotors. Now, I was a little on the fence about this, uh, after I put my wheels on in the last video and uh, I was like, you know what? Do I need rotors? Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to throw rotors on these wheels. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I should actually say this. What I have to do is Oh man, oh man. I'm trying to find the lock rings that came with these guys with the wheels. I can't find them I don't know where they are and unfortunately for me I have to kind of get this built up because I want to go for a ride here pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is use these. I found these little lock rings on another wheel set that I'm going to kind of borrow from. They're not the lightest, but they're light enough. And uh, I'm going to put this on. So join me for a beautiful uh, little off the cuff install on a pair of rotors. So what we're going to do first is crack open this box here. And kind of how they come, I can kind of show that. Hopefully the camera will focus on that, but it comes in this nice little kit. We've kind of gone through this over the winter and shown a number of different things that kind of comes with it, which is cool. So I've got two rotors. So I'm gonna pull out this little tray here and show you guys that. So there we go. These are their center locks. Um, they've got a number of different versions of these obviously, but uh, this is the center lock mount. And center lock means that in the middle here, it's not six bolt like you'd see on a mountain bike. Or I guess some mountain bikes now are not so much uh, center lock, but we're gonna pull these guys out, throw them on the wheels. And uh, maybe I'll show you these guys prior. Look real nice, huh? Real nice rotor. That's definite clickbait right there. Boom, there's the title. Um, so yeah, we're gonna throw these on the wheel. Pretty simple. Uh, no need to grease this or anything, but these guys will slide on. Uh, and I don't think we're really going to worry too much about clocking. Uh, you know what? Unless you want to be kind of cool, we could probably line these up so the SRAM red. No, nah, it's not going to matter for the. It's not going to matter. So we're going to line these guys up like that. Probably looks pretty simple, huh? Nice and, oh, y'all, look at that, beautiful. And then uh, use our little tool here, tighten them down. Now, I believe this guy uses what uh, we would install a cassette with, a cassette lock ring, so I'll have to go downstairs and grab that, but we simply just turn it. Turn, 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 until we're nice and tight. And as the lock ring actually indicates here, we have, I believe, 40 Newton meters is usually yeah, oh, it even says right there, 40 nm, huh? I had 30 or 50 in my head, if I guessed at 40. Pretty close, huh? So I am going to uh, tighten this down, throw it on the bike, and then uh, do, a, do the front wheel, and then wrap up with a quick summary here. So give me a sec. All right, and just like that, we've got two rotors installed. Pretty, pretty simple. Like I said, uh, we're just basically tightening that one little guy down here. Hopefully the camera will focus on that, but uh, we're just tightening down that little guy right there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, this is a pretty heavy center lock. Uh, I don't know what you call it, ring, cap, tightener, or whatever. I may uh, do another video on getting something a bit lighter. Uh, we'll see. Depends on uh, if I forget about this in about seven minutes, which is my normal attention span. But let's throw these wheels on the bike and uh, obviously have to remove the uh, the little stops that are in the brake, and I'll show that now. So in the front brake, as we can see here, there's this little uh, uh, little spacer that's in between the pads. So front and rear, they both have this in here because I bled the brakes over winter, obviously. And uh, we'll just pull that out from uh, bottom up and then uh, make room for the bike or the wheels, and uh, we should be good to go on installing the rotors. And then uh, off to the next challenge. So I'll catch up with you here once these are out. All right, and just like that, we have pulled out both stoppers. The wheels are in. This is what I was talking about that were in there. Just these two little SRAM whatevers. Uh, those are gone, so throw those back in the box and uh, get those in the kit. 
And otherwise, we've got the rotors installed, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. So uh, next week, we will do the uh, chain and uh, the bar tape and uh, a quick tune, and this bike will be ready to rock. A uh, lot of little, little mini adjustments that I still obviously need to do, but uh, shouldn't be too big of a problem. So bah, 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 that's it, guys. Thanks for stopping by and, and uh, I guess watching me install a couple center lock rotors. And until next time, we will catch you around. Okay, cheers, guys. See ya.